Hello, my name is Hector de Cordova. I'm going to begin now. It's called Wet into Wet Watercolor. And I'm going to demonstrate and show you the steps. And this is really an adventure, so let's hope everything turns out well. We start with wetting the surface of your table. Then you put the paper down and don't be afraid to get it wet because this is what it's all about. Then we take the paper and just lift it up once. Turn it around this way and then wet it again and work your way out from the center to the sides. Because what happens is you trap air in there and it causes bubbles that you don't want. The model is right there for me. You take the brush and very, very faintly, just to give yourself direction. It's very important when you're doing this to use the white of the paper as your white because this medium is supposed to be transparent. And if you put white in your paint, it becomes opaque. So even though they do have white watercolor, in this technique you don't use it, because if you do, you're no longer going to have transparent watercolor, you're going to have gouache. I just roughly establish where my areas of white are going to be. The fact that the paper is very wet is great because it's very forgiving. If I do something that I don't like, I can get rid of it very quickly. Just give myself a little idea of where we're going. If you notice when you look at flowers, at any arrangement of flowers, the center of it is for the most part your darkest point. So I'm starting from center and I go into this point here. The white of the paper is what makes your painting sparkle. So it's really important to design that way. These flowers have little tips of pink. So we'll put that in. I'm laying in some shadows. In any sort of painting, even if you're doing a portrait, images are defined by their shadows. If you want to do a portrait of somebody, don't draw them. Paint the shadows. You'll be surprised. Everybody has a tendency to draw. And the idea is to paint. And what do you paint? You paint the shadows. Now we can get a little bolder, stronger while it's still wet. We'll define this a bit. And we have to establish that this is sitting on the table. So we'll add a little shadow to it. You're going to be using the fact, the fact that the brush comes to a nice thin edge is a great advantage in this. And you'll see how you form a leaf what you do with the brush, uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, this, is, this is an adventure, each one of them. This is a good use to put a credit card to. Okay. It allows you to do thin, thin lines that you really couldn't get with just a brush. Guess what? I think it's finished. 
They never come out the same. Uh, another demonstration I have here is one that I did before this. I was doing two demonstrations and you can see the one that's down here and the one that's up here. And I like this one. It's simpler and it's fresh. And that's what this is all about. Simplicity and freshness.